Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. That's Felcor. Yay, Felcor. Felcor made it on the show. Um, He's so cute. He's already been on Movie Talk anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back with our final recap of Daredevil. This is going to be episodes 10 through 13. 10, 11, 12, and 13. So Dustin, why don't we start off with you? What did you like about this episode? What did you think? I like the fact that they're pretty much setting up the whole next episodes. It's a nice... Um, setting up where the hand is, setting up what the hand is, setting up Frank, setting up Fisk, and how mm -hmm. all, I mean, by the end, all of them are going to come into play, and it's so cool. And it seems, I mean, it may be a little too early for me to say this, but it seems like they're they're, they're getting ready now for just the finale, but kind of what we're going to see in season three, I mean, I'm assuming mm -hmm. that Fisk, when he gets out, his vendetta now is going to be, you know, Kingpin versus Matt Murdock slash daredevil so that's going to be great what i didn't expect was for the da to get oh gunned down God. and die like that after she came clean about everything i thought they for sure like she was definitely not one of the people i thought was going to get killed very true but when you sat down honestly when um you sit down and think about it you're like well yeah of course frank would kill her but cause... was it but he he said to karen that it wasn't he said it wasn't me. He found her in oh, the apartment. Good point. I'm thinking it's the hand or Wilson Fisk's people. Maybe he still has people on the outside making it look like he did it. I thought he was talking about the other guy, the one that obviously was like a mass shooting. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the one he said. But they're wasn't all kind him. of like mass shootings. Well, I know, but the DA's was a sniper shot. It was one shot, one kill. No, it wasn't. There were several bullets. I thought there was one shot. She got shot through the chest, like through and through, like three at least three times. Oh. And, one of, and, and so, Foggy yeah, guess, got shot too. I don't think Frank did it. You don't think he? I think I think somebody's trying to set him up, or there's there's something else happening here. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised to see her dead because she finally came clean. I was like, great, they're gonna have help. They're gonna crack this thing open, and maybe she's gonna be able to finally tell Frank what really happened. But oh yeah, and then that would make sense. They would want it to look like Frank, but Frank wouldn't be going after him. He's going after. Um, He's what supposed to clean up, he's supposed to, yeah, exactly, he's trying to clean up the city for, for Wilson Fisk. What I really liked in this episode, go figure, they put Wilson Fisk in an episode and I like it. Oh my I gosh. think uh, Vincent so D'Onofrio is a great actor, um, especially with Kingpin. Um, I especially like the jail, the jail, the jail cell scene oh, with, with him, him and Matt. Matt. Oh. It's Super so intense. good. It's very intense. I like the little heartbeat that they put, like neither one of them were like worked up or anything like that. It was a very steady heartbeat. It's, wow, it's so good. And um, Electra. But the fact that Stick sent, I, I found that out right before, I, I figured it out, I mean, right before he said it, when she was like, I don't care what the hand does, or what, what they want, this is not my war, and then... It wasn't the hand. And I was, was like, stick. right before he, he said any of that, I was like, oh, freaking Stick wants her dead. Um, and, like, do is this how she gets the size, or I thought that was her... I thought that was her thing all the time. But you but, said something that I, I, like I said, I never knew about the Electra comics, but you said something like she dies by the size? Oh, yeah. Um, Deadshot. Um, Bullseye. Not Deadshot. <laughs> Bullseye. The way he kills her is stabs her with his own, uh, with her oh, own size. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, unless they plan to introduce him towards the end, maybe she... I don't know. She well, might still, she might still kick season. it. I still think she'll probably make You think it. she's going to get her own because they want they want the Electra They series? might. They might, that's possible. a whole new She's character cool. they can bring in. She's pretty cool. I like her. And then how about Claire saving those poor people with the blood draining out of them? And then they're standing oh there God. like zombies. And I'm like, oh, this is so messed up. And she did the right thing. She was like, instead uh, of... No, no, it, I'm out of here. Yeah, exactly. That's like, in that situation, that is the logical and the only thing you should be doing. Just She's like, fuck you guys. I'm out. The whole... No. And they all are up at the same time. And, just and, like... uh, and they kill that guy's dad. <laughs> you get so creeped out by that. Yeah, things like just just people not really being themselves. Uh, oh, I have one flaw. One flaw. One flaw, and what this I miss? is minor. So Electra and French guy are high, are, are fighting right in the airport <sighs> hangar. Where the hell did all those people go? Yeah, it's a private. I, it's a like, private hangar, but like they had the bartender. There were some other guys in the background Travelers too. like. They all just like, do they turn on, excuse me, guys, we're about to have a battle to the death. So could y'all just clear? Thanks. Bye. Travel safe. Run away. You know, it's like, I was like, how did that happen? Anyways, that's that's my nitpicky um, for this episode. So now we're going to go watch episode 11 and we'll be right back. All right. We're back with episode 11. And this is, um, 
This is the Frank Castle I, shootout episode. I don't even know how to process the whole thing. Um, I mean, wow. That shipyard scene was really, really intense. Well, the diner scene, I think, was a little bit more oh cringeworthy. Gosh, brutal, yeah, that's what I thought. It's just so brutal with the Punisher as it should be. And normally I'm pretty comfortable with watching like really graphic violence and like gore and stuff like that. Oh, but oh but this God, one was like shivit when he was. Well, shit. we all knew. We I was all knew like, that oh the, my god! And we all knew that the coffee, at least I was, I was said to you, I was like, <laughs> that pot of coffee had better come in hand because he's mentioned it twice mm-hmm. already in the diner, and sure enough, but it was um the guy that he like mashed his face in with the butt of the gun, and when it showed the guy again on the floor, like a chunk of his, skin, oh. it was bad. Oh my god! And I, Heck, when he shot the other guy in the head, and you saw the. Pew, Across the screen, you're just like, oh! Keeping a real Punisher. Um, I, I mean, this really gives you a look into what the Punisher series is going to be. Oh, I can't. Like, don't eat while you're watching that show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, I guess, uh, this goes into um, the Electra storyline where she finds out, you know, Stick sends the Frenchman. Yeah. And Which I find um, kind of weird. Why did Stick do that? Just because yeah. he's bitter? I mean, I'm almost thinking that he was set up but, s- but then again no well, i don't know if he was mad at her from when she decided she wasn't going to follow him anymore she was going to follow matt yeah back you know when he nursed her back to health from the poison and stuff so i don't know if it's about that or like i mean she was getting ready to leave town so it's it's interesting she's a complex character so if you guys kind of understand that scene a little bit more than we did yeah please come below and explain a little more to us because maybe we just so blatantly missed it um, so then that's going to be an awesome fight to see in the next episode, though. Yeah. Stick and Electro. Do you think he's going to gonna die? finally see... I think Stick might I die. I think he's going to die. Yeah. I think he is. I think she might, too. I think it's going to be both. That they kill each other, or do you think she dies later? I think they kill each other. I think this might be her last episode. The next episode, episode 12, will be her last one. But Maybe. I don't I, I don't, don't think she's I don't gonna know. die. I you don't, don't think, think so? so? No, because she's too big of a character and okay. too big of a fan favorite. I mean, if they ever did kill her off, they would make it look like so they can bring her back. Well, I mean, they got the, the hand technology, some voodoo crap that they're doing with the blood. <laughs> oh, my God. That, oh. Oh, by the way, where they, they slit their wrists and they're like, I'm ready. Those it's so... characters are just so damn creepy. Oh, my God. Um, and I was really hoping for at the shipyard just going backwards a little bit, that Daredevil and Punisher were going to actually team up. Yeah. And well, I think they're still going to. I don't know. I mean, in one of the episodes, they've got a... The, fin- the finale, The Punisher maybe. just comes in with a machine gun and mows down a lot of the hand. But I do like what I did really did enjoy with their exchange, even though they they gave each other a little bit of a beatdown, more so Daredevil than, than the Punisher, because he was just seen red and so angry. You know, thinking that he found the blacksmith, but the deep little, down he knew he did. The little tantrum that he kind of had when he realized. Yeah, he, he sat down like a baby. <laughs> he's like, hmm. "Good damn it!" <laughs> um, that he said to Daredevil after he said to the Punisher, um, "Maybe this once would just do it. This just do it your way. It's just this once. Once you, know, you cross you can't the do line, that. yeah. Once you cross the line, there's no going back. And it's so true. And I hope this." Um, that kind of holds up for Daredevil till the end of the series that he still doesn't kill. Yeah. I, I really do hope so because that's been a big deal for him. So what are you looking forward to in the next episode? The fight. Oh, I want to see that fight. The electrostic stick. fight. That's what I'm looking forward to mm-hmm. because it's going to be awesome. And do you have any idea who Blacksmith could be? No, I don't. Anywhere I mean, in your I'm... comic knowledge, somebody, a villain named Blacksmith? I'm not familiar with it. Okay. Daredevil is not one of my strengths. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I guess we're going to go watch episode 12 and find out for ourselves. All right, let's talk about episode 12. Now that we've seen the fight between Elektra and Stick, and then we found out that he's getting kidnapped. Because he knows something. So this has been like a long time coming, ever since she was a child. And I can't believe they actually waited this long to go into kind of her past. So it's, it's like he stopped her from becoming this weapon that the hand wanted they call her yeah. the black sky but well, like was, wasn't there in season one something where stick tried to kill the black sky but right. it was something it was a different kid wasn't it i don't but remember kids, but stick still killed the kid or something i don't remember uh but i find it 
weird with Nobu in the warehouse scene where he like bow down to her like you are the black sky we are yours you know will we serve you mm-hmm. but then he was all rude before calling her it like, we want it and i was like if this is someone you want to serve you need to show a little respect yeah like for some reason that really bothered me but um it looks like she's got a soft spot in her heart for matt because he somehow convinced her from wanting to kill stick to want to save stick for him though you know, she doesn't really want to save him. Like, it was, all, it was really up to her she'd kill him. Yeah. I think they're going to off each other. I, I still think she's going <laughs> to take it before this. I could be totally wrong. Um, all right, let's talk about the Punisher. The Punisher and Karen figures out who the blacksmith is. Mm-hmm. And how ironic. You said it right before it happened. You, you said it at the beginning of the episode. Mm-hmm. I paused it right before she went in there. I was like, how much do you want to bet it's him? Yeah, and it, it sure was. And it's like, what a slap in your face. Like, you served in the military with this guy. And he and was, not like, only that, involved. Sa- from the story he told, saved his life. And it, it just turns out that, you know, this guy was involved in Frank's family getting killed. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, what I... I don't know why this kind of... I think there was a lot going on, don't get me wrong, but this reminded me a little bit of episode six where things were a little bit slow. Um, the payoff wasn't great because Frank brought the colonel into that little shed mm-hmm. and he was like, you know, he obviously knows everything, but he's like, one shot, one kill. You taught me that and they just shoots him. And I was like, I thought they were going to have this there, I thought dialogue. they were going to re- reveal more. Like, okay, what, what happened to him where? Was that? I don't remember. It but, started with a K. Yeah. And whatever happened there, or the backstory a little bit, I hope we find it all out in the n- next episode because yeah. it's the last episode. There's it's, a lot yeah. they have to wrap up. They have to wrap up a, what? Um, Electra. Electra. They have to wrap up, up about Frank. They have to wrap up against, well, I guess they don't have to mention the Kingpin. Maybe they'll just show him being out or something. Or they can say that for the opening of season three. Yeah. But we all know pretty sure, like 99% sure, that Wilson Fisk will get out. Um, I just I just felt like this was going to be a lot of setup and it was going to be a pretty big cliffhanger. And it really wasn't. It was just now we know it's like a huge battle scene is going to break out between Nobu and Hand and Daredevil because he was like, Daredevil must die. Yeah, but, well, um, and also what's weird is I know at the end of, what is it called? In one of the series of comic books with Daredevil, he becomes the leader of the hand, mm-hmm. I think. So I'm a little curious about that too. Right. And see if they start leading towards that goal or not and start you wanting to tell that storyline. I guess, yeah, there's really not much to, sorry guys, but there's, I, I don't feel like there's much to say about this episode. They, they pretty much just set it up for... Let's wrap everything up. But I was slightly underwhelmed by this episode. I mean, a lot happened. I'm not saying it's bad. I just everything else has been so great. Yeah, and this I think one it's just seemed a little meh. That they that whatever answers they gave you, this gave more questions. So you're kind of like huh? it's like lost. Yeah. With that said, we're gonna hurry up and watch episode 13 because wow. I yeah we have one more left. We put this off for way too long. So we will be back with our final episode. Oh, we did we're it. Finished. We finished Daredevil. Oh my god! What gosh. an episode! What a season finale! So before we get into our whole thoughts about the entire season, mm-hmm. let's wrap it up a little bit. Um, how do you think they wrapped everything up? How do you think they concluded everything? Um, it, I, well, I got the one thing that I wanted for. I mean, I don't, I don't know if like I feel that that should have been the last scene, but I feel like they should have told Kira. He should have told Karen that he was Daredevil. A long time ago so this was yeah. like a long time long coming time i was coming like for that yes finally um i do think they kind of leave it open to like if they decide to not have a third season they don't have to no well no 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 they set it up for the punisher series is what they punisher set it up for. and electra's well daredevil is going to be a part of she's not going to get her own series Electra? Electra? Yeah, I guess I not. think she'll come into play in the Defenders well, series. Well, we know she's died, and then we know she's going to come back. Mm-hmm. She, so, she'll be like evil Electra. And she came back wrong. <laughs> you came back wrong, Slayer. That rooftop scene was, was really cool to see them fight, and I just don't think it was one of like their 
best fight scenes. Yeah, it was a little too much in the dark. No, I didn't really have a problem with that. I had a problem with all the ninjas that they had sitting there waiting to take on the Daredevil. When Where'd they go? They could have, they could have, like, if they really wanted to take him down, they could have. Um, yeah, but no, they were like, no, we have to have one-on-one fight. Yeah, and and I get why, like, you know, having him face off Nobu, who basically shredded him apart in season one, yeah, to kind of have the two of them go go head to head, is really great. When he actually threw Nobu off the roof and he retracted his little cable stick thing, um, I was like. Shocked, and I was like, he killed somebody. Oh, wait, but Nobu's going to come back, so I guess he yeah, doesn't count. Yeah, Nobu doesn't die. Yeah, and then what What the best was, and this reminded me so much of the Buffy episode with um, Dracula, where, oh, where he, he gets up, and then he gets decapitated by Stick, and it was the same in Buffy, which way more comical, where, like, Dracula bursted into, like, cloud and dust, and he starts to come back once Buffy walks away, and she's like, I'm standing right here. And it just it just reminded me of that, you know. Huh. Anyways, um, this time stay down. Yeah, I really wanted more out of that rooftop scene. Like it was the finale fight. I wanted there to be way. I mean, they it looked like they showed a ton of ninjas, yeah. and I wanted Frank to be able to come in a little earlier and like, and like mow them all down. I don't want. That's it. how you could have solved it. Is just have Frank just have like his. I just he has a to huge see... minigun and just all of a sudden he goes. <sighs> I really wanted to see the three of them fight together, which is probably not even like close to anything in the comics. I have no idea for, but for like a personal preference. You wanted to see Elektra. It it would have been Ca- like seeing uh, Batman, Punisher. Superman, and Wonder Woman together. I, I wanted it something. I thought it was going to be something like that, but yeah. Um, you know, but I am definitely looking forward to the Punisher series. Mm-hmm. I want to know what's on that CD, the micro. Yeah, that was really interesting. That, I, was like, I, wonder... I thought he was just punching it because he was mad. And he was going to pick up, like, a family picture and keep it. But I think he's burning everything of his family's. Um, I he's wonder... now going, like, to, I'm going to a new life. I wonder if that discs has what um, the colonel was talking about, like, the co- kosher or whatever. Yeah, wherever place Whatever they operation were. that, that they, they, were, they were part of. I wonder if it shows that and maybe he's got to go off more people. Maybe it was kind of like a government conspiracy cover-up kind yeah. of thing. And that's going to be the Punisher story of him going after the um, corrupt people in government who really kill a lot of oh, people. Oh, true that. Now, well, with it being the end, and I really liked that Karen and Foggy had their little sing in Josie's mm-hmm. and how he closed out the Nelson and Murdoch. Um, tab and that was very, it was kind of very bittersweet but so obviously he was approached by Carrie and Moss who you see in uh, Jessica Jones so do yep. you now think when Jessica Jones come back we're going to see Foggy appear actually that's probably a really good guess That's gonna be I wouldn't cool. be surprised at all yeah that'll be kind of cool so um, what about you what are your uh, positives and negatives about this I kind of felt like this episode had more endings than the Lord of the Rings <laughs> I was like, this is where they're going to end it? Oh, okay, there's one more scene. Oh, this is where they're going to end it? Oh, there's one more scene. Oh, this is where they're going to end it? Yeah. It just kept on going and going because there were so many loose ends that they had to tie up. I personally was a little upset about the ninjas as well. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like, wait, where'd they all go? They just went on a coffee break. Yeah. Like, ah, Nobu can handle it. We're good. We still don't have any answers about how the black sky is Electra or I guess that coffin is what they actually use to bring him back. I don't I don't know. I, I you guys put that in the comments down below what you know about Black Sky and Electra, but like what I noticed it's obviously they're gonna to try to re- resurrect her. Yeah. She's got her arms crossed and she's all dressed in red. Um like reminding me of Dracula actually. Yeah. And what I thought Electra had armor on. That was kind of crappy armor. Uh, was Is it she... supposed to be armor? Well, remember, um, they got it from the armor guy who gave him... Maybe it was just for some slight protection. I don't know. But, but, I mean, uh... it looked freaking cool. Yeah. But what he... Well, you know what? He spent all this time making Daredevil's cool billy club weapon. Oh, that, that was so cool. I've awesome. been waiting for that, for him to be able to start swinging around kind of like yeah. that. Yeah. Because that's the, what he always looked really awesome in, in in the comics. So to wrap up our review, what are your um, what are you looking forward to in season three for Daredevil if they decide well, to do one? I don't know if they're going to be doing a season three of Daredevil because I know they're going to be doing Luke Cage next, which we saw the trailer for, which looks awesome. Yeah. 
Um, they're going to do a Jessica Jones. Then they're still going to do an Iron Fist because he's already been cast. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to do the Defenders. I think ah. everything that's from... We might not find out what's going on with Elektra until um, either the Defenders because that would be a Defenders team up need to get... You know, it, that would be kind of like the would Loki. It though? Uh, I the guess Loki so. that all of them need to group together. To I just fight. I just don't see why they would end with um, season two. I think they give it one more season because I, I wouldn't. When don't you think they would want to bring Wilson Fisk back into the he mix? He could be one of the big baddies in one of the other episodes. I would love to see a, a season three. So uh, let us know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section below. What you think? If there will be a season three, or if you heard there isn't going to be at all, and yeah, just let us know your thoughts. So with that said, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And give us your thoughts, too, because we can babble on all day long, but we want to know what you guys think as well. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And we'll see you in our next video.